let's first off cover what we're going to be working with during this training. Let's run through the Power BI desktop file that we're going to create from scratch. And then also we'll have a quick look at the, uh, the data which is going to, we're going to query and we're going to feed into our Power BI report. So first off here, we're looking at a dashboard. This is the end result. This is what we are going to build from scratch, from, uh, from the raw data that we bring in uh, to all the calculations, the data model and all the visualizations. This is going to be the end result. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at the sales performance of retail sites for a company that sells a range of different products across all those different stores. And what we can do is we can actually start at the summary layer where we have our key metrics down the side, things like sales, profits, quantity, uh, profit margins, and some historical uh, comparisons. And also things like uh, our sales per county, our profit margins or sales per, um, per date, and, and so on and so forth. There's a, there's a huge amount of information that we, can, um, that we can discover within this dashboard. If we were to say click on a particular area like uh, Los Angeles County, for example, we would drill into that, um, that county specifically, and then we could even go even further and look at an individual store. So say for instance, we wanted to evaluate the store that was in Torrance, we could click into that store, and then we would then retrieve information just for that, just for that one store. So from a insights perspective, there's an, there's an immense amount that we can draw from a dashboard uh, or, or Power BI model slash report that we create. And that's why we're gonna work from right from the start uh, in terms of getting the raw, raw data and then trying to produce something like, uh, like this, or we will produce something like this. Uh, by the end of this training, I have no doubt that you will all be able to create a report and dashboard like so that has this dynamic filtering effect that allows you to really, really dive into your information um, very quickly and very efficiently. And I believe that you'll be also be able to translate this into doing this uh, on your on your own data on your own data. So, um, so 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 once you, as you work through it, there's there's certainly a lot of um, a lot of things that you'll learn, a lot of things that you'll uh, that you'll now grasp with Power BI, and will really put you in a in, in a good position to then go and replicate this in your own environment with your own uh, raw data sets. Let's now uh, let's now jump to the raw data and see what see what that actually looks like before. Uh, we uh, we actually start uh, developing things and jump into the uh, qu querying this data. So you can download both both this data and the Power BI desktop file. This is the data that we are going to bring into our uh, into our model to start off with. So if you if you if we do a quick review, we've got some sales information now. Ideally, all of the sales information would be in one, one table, but in this case, we've actually got three different tables of the sales for each different year. The reason we've done this is to actually showcase a number of advanced transformation examples. So I didn't want to make it so simple that if you went back into your own environment and had to go and do something slightly more advanced, that you couldn't, you would, you would not be able to know what to do. So in this case, I have, I have built a um, a scenario where we actually have to do uh, you know, some some relatively advanced transformations just so you can understand the, the true power of especially of the query editor, and one of those uh, advanced transformations is appending information. So we've got three different sets of information, but essentially it is actually the same information. So we need to somehow make one table out of these three tables. So we'll be going through that. But we've got information on our products. So this is our product list. We also, uh, so it has the product name, it has the costs, the sale price, the taxes, and so on and so forth. We also have some location uh, data. So this is all the information from California, all the different counties, all the different, um, uh, all the different cities, uh, and, and then some additional information around income, um, and so on and so forth. We've also got a table on our customers. And then we've also got some sale, uh, some some data on our salespeople. We have some other information here which we don't actually go through in this course, but uh, could be used. Uh, and that actually goes through um, some budgeting and also uh, also some date range uh, work that you could in integrate into your uh, models if you wanted to. 
So finally, if we just look through this table here, this is the transaction table, and this is what uh, is called the fact table, and we'll be going into this in more depth uh, later on, especially around uh, data modeling, because this is a very different table to our other tables here, product location, customers, and salespeople. But this table is linked up to all of these other tables via these index codes. And so this is, this is, this is how we showcase what you need to do with a relationship. And so we'll be going through that later on in the data modeling section. But all we need from this particular table to run all the this, uh, this substantial analysis that we do and create in Power BI is just the quantity and just the price and just the purchase date. Everything else we do is done internally in Power BI. And as we work through examples, as we work through uh, a, a range of uh, techniques within Power BI Desktop, you'll see how with such a small amount of information or, or a small amount of columns, I, I would say, I would say so, there's a lot you can extract. There's an immense amount that you can extract. Power BI enables you to, uh, to build upon this raw data substantially. Don't just think that you, all you can do is a sum of quantity or a quantity times price. There's an immense amount of work that you can do around um, uh, branching out into more advanced analysis uh, using time intelligence or moving averages or, or, or a concept called DAX patterns, which we go into later on. So hopefully that gives you a good overview, a good, uh, a good understanding of the scenario that we're working with. We've gone through the Power BI desktop file and we've also gone through the data. But at the end of the day, we're trying to draw insight about the sales that are happening in all our retail stores. So as you work through the course, uh, don't don't forget that. Just just always have in the back of your mind what we're, what we're trying to achieve with our analysis and it will make the build uh, or development of your models uh, that much easier.